When I was painting in the 60s, there was no career at art. <laughs> it was the last thing you would think of, you know? And so I've always painted for my sanity. Some artists are too intellectual. And art is not an intellectual experience. It's above the intellectual. Some artists are too emotional. Too, um, some of them are too sensual. It's a combination of all the functions of man that make up the experience, that high experience, that freedom. What happened is, in the 60s, when I was early on working on these light boxes, the clear and white light, I had the idea of doing it in cold. The piece was saying, oh, it would look so good in the cold. So I had this idea of doing a cold room and uh, now we actualize it. The cold room is actually an outdoor piece. It's a 12 foot cube with the uh, light beads, the glass beads that light up. So it's a cube of light that you walk into to a more essential painting of light. You go inside and you just meditate on this floating, the floating light box. Cold heightens your consciousness, your awareness. And um, I think that related to the whole idea of the cold room heightening consciousness. It's a wake up call. Painting can be a pathway to a bigger conversation. Thinking is great in its place, but thinking is finite. It's always the past. To be in the present, I think art can take you from the finite into an infinite conversation, into the, a bigger picture, out of the thinking mind, into more being, more being than thinking. Art is the experience. That's the only place it has any reality is in the experience. <laughs>